Tom Farrell led the Boston Red Sox to the 2013 World Series title, but that didn't buy him enough job security to get to the 2018 season. Boston fired Farrell on Wednesday. Two days after the Houston Astros eliminated it from the playoffs in four games. This comes after Ken Rosenthal of Fox Sports suggested in May that Farrell was potentially on the hot seat. The Red Sox boasted a winning record at the time but they're still just in third place in the American League East. The fact Farrell was on the hot seat despite a solid record in the early going was a testament to how high expectations were, especially after Boston traded for ace Chris Sale during the offseason. Xbox. Let's talk about that. Uh, the youth movement in this clubhouse, you could say. Yeah. Uh, you know, what, what can Red Sox fans look forward to from some of these young players in 2018? Yeah, I, well, I mean, Rafael Devers was, you know, he was a revelation when he, when he came up, and I think just for the last two months or so. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, inside the park home run in the ninth inning yesterday, you know, sort of give him life just as an example of what the, he can provide. I believe he hit 11 homers down, you know, the stretch in the season. And he looks like the real thing. He's got some defensive issues, but, I mean, he's 20 years old. And, right. you know, that they, I think they think that will iron itself out. Um, their outfield, um, you know, looks solid. I mean, you know, the uh, Betts and Benintendi most definitely, you know, um, uh, Benintendi really came along a lot this year. And uh, I think they have... Red Sox fans have a lot to be excited about with those three guys, you know, sort of formulating this young core and, and, this, and the guys that the Sox will build around, you know, as they move forward. Rosenthal cited two incidents which raised questions about Farrell's leadership. One was the team's continued dispute with Baltimore Orioles slugger Manny Machado, which featured multiple testy exchanges between the squads. The other was a heated exchange in the dugout between Farrell and pitcher Drew Pomeranz. Red Sox president of baseball operations Dave Dombrowski gave Farrell a vote of confidence at the time, with him Britain of the Providence Journal, but it didn't last into the offseason. Even after his firing, Farrell leaves with a successful tenure. He led a 2017 turnaround that resulted in a division title. Boston hired him in October 2012 after one disastrous season with Bobby Valentine as manager. The Red Sox went 69-93 to with Valentine at the helm in 2012. But Farrell completed an incredible turnaround and led them to the 2013 World Series title in his first season. Boston suffered through losing campaigns in 2014 and 2015 but bounced back in 2016 with an American League East crown and 93-69 to record. It finished 2017 with the same record, although it was eliminated in the Al Division series. He was also the team's pitching coach from 2007 to 2010, a span that saw a World Series title and three playoff appearances.